I'm Kristen Oviedo, and this is how to figure out the radius of a sphere without knowing the volume. This problem is actually made a lot simpler by the fact that you don't really have a whole lot of options. I mean, a sphere is a very simple object, unless you're talking like post-calculus, it's a very simple object. There's only a few parameters that define it, so you just have to choose among those parameters to find the variable that you're looking for. So I've drawn you a three-dimensional sphere on a two-dimensional chalkboard and defined R here, the radius. And all of the five parameters are supposed to be defined in terms of R, but we'll get to that in just a second. So D is the diameter, so just basically the distance across or twice the radius. C is the circumference, and in this case it would be the circumference of a circle, the biggest circle that you can make in that sphere, because you could make a bunch of little smaller circles if you wanted to, but this is the widest circle that you can make. So that is going to be 2 pi r. And then the surface area of the outside of the sphere is going to be 4 pi r squared. So 4 times the area of that circle, essentially. And lastly, your volume, which we're not supposed to know, but just for fun. 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we're told that we do not have the volume, so we'll get rid of that one. We're trying to find r, and we have three different ways that we can try to find it. So you have to be given one of these other quantities to be able to solve for r. So you'll be given d or c or a, the diameter, circumference, or area. And just whichever one you're given, just solve the equation for r. So let's pick the hardest one and say we're given the surface area. So we're basically just going to rearrange this. It's going to be the square root of A. Sorry, doing all that math in my head here. So if you were given this, your R would be the square root of A over 4 pi. I'm Kristen Oviedo, and that was how to figure out the radius of a sphere without knowing the volume.